Welcome to Intelligent Human Leadership, leading yourself and your team. Do you ever find yourself grappling with a lack of confidence in your team? Or battling the relentless waves of concern and fear? Are the pressures to meet client expectations and the burden of missed opportunities weighing you down? On this podcast, you'll discover the strategies and insights that will reignite your team's morale and help you find the harmony and knowledge you seek to propel your business forward. Here, we explore innovative ways to reignite your creative spirit and achieve greatness, empowering you to lead with intelligence, compassion, and resilience. If you're ready to dive deep into your core of leadership challenges and be guided toward success, here's your host, founder of Steward Your Business, David Carr. Hello, and welcome back to the Intelligent Human Leadership Podcast with David Carr here. I am honored to be your host and glad to have you here on our very first episode. Uh, Hopefully you've heard the introduction um, prior to this and uh, heard a little bit about where I'm going with this podcast um, in knowing yourself to lead yourself. And one of the biggest areas that um, I find is entrepreneurs, uh, business owners, uh, entrepreneurs, <clears throat> is we neglect areas in our life, um, often by default, <clears throat> meaning we're focusing on the business because we're, we're at least somewhat successful there. And uh, we get some kudos, our ego is stroked a little bit. Um, and uh, it, as a business owner in particular, it's kind of a bottomless pit, if you will, to um, put this energy in and momentum to build a business, to sustain a team, uh, to grow that. Um, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of focus. But what we don't realize is when we continue down that route, without taking overall inventory of our lives, we tend to neglect areas in which aren't doing as well. And I'm going to jump out of the gate here and talk about one that uh, directly affected me uh, was my marriage my relationship with my wife. Um, we've been married now 18 years, but it wasn't uh, all that great uh, 10 years ago or so. Um, we had a lot of challenges and have overcome a lot. But I, wanna, I want to bring up this issue of this problem that I see in, in business owners and men. And, uh, and I think many, as I talk to, you, <laughs> talk to you guys out there, recognize, you know what? My marriage is not on fire. My wife is not super excited and engaged in the marriage. She's there, absolutely, especially if you have kids, you have you have invested in building a life together, absolutely. But you know it's not on fire. You know there's distance. You know there's disconnection. And so I'm going to tell you a little story or share a little bit of my story here and the problem and the way that I went through this. Um in I was building uh, up my career. I was doing the things that I thought were right, uh, making a good living, providing for the family. Heck, we could go to Disneyland. We could we could have these different trips. Uh, you know that. In my eyes, thought thought was enough. In reality, there is emotional disconnect from my wife. In I didn't realize it at the time, but it directly affected my production. It directly affected how I I showed up at work. And um, if you've been in business long enough (laughs) for a minute or two, you recognize when there's, you don't know what what it is necessarily, but you recognize when somebody's going through emotional trauma, stress, a relationship is, is not working out right. Um, It's, it's challenging them. And so this is super important to get on on the mark. It's super painful when things are not working out, particularly with this this person that you've chosen to go light to light through life with. You've 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 your wife, your spouse, you've chosen this life together and it's not what you thought it was going to be. This, if this doesn't get addressed, if this problem of facing where you're at in your marriage, the facts of where you're at, 
in your marriage and you purposely go back into the business because you know what? I can actually do pretty good there. I can actually get somebody that gives me a kudos or, or says, hey, you man, good good job there. You, you, you saved the day. But you can't save your marriage and you can't save, you can't be there and be the man that your wife really desires and needs you to be. Um, and oftentimes that led me into a places of being not powered, not clear, not not having certainty on my next move because there was so much ambiguity with my wife to the point 10 years ago, we were on the verge of divorce and I've been married once before. So I did not want to go through that again, you know, two, two strikes against me, if you will. Um, and I realized a lot of brought a lot of the issues from my first marriage into my second marriage and I didn't resolve those. So they kept going unresolved and I went to the business and the things that I felt I could do well in. Um, and the reality was I wasn't facing the problem that I really needed to face in order to actually be more successful in my business and to lead my teams because I wasn't even clear who I was in a hundred percent. And I was trying to be this person for my wife that wasn't authentic. It wasn't real. Um, and you can't keep that up for a long period of time. So here's, here's some things. I mean, if you if you're going into that place, you're going to feel depression. You're going to feel angst. You're going to feel overwhelmed. Um, and I'm telling you, we can numb out. We can try to disconnect the, from those feelings. And that's what I did. I literally tried to like be a straight line. No high, no super highs, no super lows. And what I realized was that it was a self-limiting mindset governor and if you're trying to be that way, like, oh, I can hold it together. I can hold it together. I can figure out a way to get through this. I'm telling you, from a man that's been there, you're, you're headed for a cliff. You're headed for a cliff. Now, I was, a, I was able to avoid that cliff. But the reality is, if you go over that cliff, and I've seen so many men do this, being married 10, 15, 20, 30 years, what they have worked to build and what they thought was important and some of that was definitely important, uh, raising children and con- part of being part of the community. And it burned to the ground. It burned to the ground. They made very poor choices from the way they spent their money, the way they didn't take care of their body, the way they abused relationships, abused themselves. And they put themselves in an absolute horrible situation for themselves and those around them. And as men, we're not strong here. We're going to bend. We're going to collapse in. I live up here on the mountains here in Southern California. We had terrible snowstorm and blizzard here in early 2023. Those homes that couldn't address the the, the snow, the, the building, the building, it just kept building and building, literally collapsed or in some cases literally exploded. So if we're, to, if we're to like, ah, you know, what's a little bit more, what's a little bit more, I can navigate this. There becomes a breaking point. It's different for everyone. Um, and, you know, your wife, in, in, in my case, they, they have such a strong pain threshold. Anybody that's had kids knows women have a high pain threshold. So they're willing to tolerate a lot. However, however, there's a place where there's a breaking point, even for a woman. And unfortunately, in today's age and society, you know, it's so easy to, for somebody else to come into the picture, to provide an escape. I'm not saying it's right. You know, affairs happen, whether they're emotional, physical, both. Um, it does, you know, just turning to somebody else. It could just be that simple. And that energy and focus is now taken away from you that you really need and can use in a good way that your wife is not now turned off from you. She's turning away from you. Um, and it leaves you in a place of quiet desperation in some places. You're like, you thought you were this person. You thought that she loved you for these reasons. And you're realizing the disconnect there, disconnect between you. And it only grows further and further away until you can realize that 
you can make the change in the situation. Now, here's a, here's a, here's a aha for you, or one for me anyways, is I blamed my wife for a lot of situations. And again, if it's like, and you may do this with your employees too, you blame them. You're like, man, they, they're not doing their job. And you actually may have a legitimate gripe, a legitimate claim. But the reality is, what have you contributed to the situation? I'm bringing this idea of a way of thinking about that. Because if you're not thinking about what you've done and what you've brought into this, you are sunk. If it's everybody else's problem or if it's just, you know, you can't see anything that you have brought into the situation. And, and when I say see it, number one, it's seeing it. And, and with the clients I work with, it's actually putting it out there. It's actually exposing themselves, exposing them to the truth, laying it out there and being ready to face whatever comes back their way. But that comes because you have a strong frame and an understanding of yourself. And that's one of the things we do through the coaching program is understanding that. But reality is you're not facing your problem in your marriage is directly affecting your profitability. It's directly affecting the, the growth of your business. And that's where I focus on how do we bulletproof your business? Well, you know, let's look at every area of our lives. It, marriage, to me, is, is the biggest one. And we're going to be coming back through this throughout this podcast because there's so much to unpack in marriage and relationships, uh, your children. But the reality is, if we don't know that, if we don't know ourselves truly, we're going to be asking and demanding and showing up in ways in which we're asking the other person to be in which it's for us and it's not for them. And, and we're not showing up in how to be a strong leader. A leader leads by example, right? And so I see so many men like try to strong arm their wives sometimes in this way. Speak to them, right? Like logically. Okay, let me just walk through this, right? A plus B plus C. And realizing, you know, we are, all of us are emotional creatures first. We go to our heart first, then we connect our mind. And here we are, guys. We're trying to logically kind of explain to our wives why this is, how this is, and we don't even understand in ourselves the emotions that we're facing, right? I mean, if we are not paying attention to this, guys, I'm telling you, the divorce rates are terrible. We, you know, but this is no news to anybody. But divorce is just part of it. Yes, we lose financial. <laughs> our businesses actually may have to be sold, <laughs> or you know, the, our wives have obviously some kind of ownership, or how you have it set up. If you haven't thought about that, but you, you know, uh, I live in California, so there's there's you think about all the laws and regulations there. Uh, that's all secondary, honestly. But I want you to think about the consequences of the actions. The consequences of continuing to live this way, avoiding your emotions, avoiding the, the state of the, your marriage, really where you're at today, and choosing to think somehow, some way, it's going to get better. Um, and like, well, she'll come to our senses or, you know, things will turn around. And if you're hiding things or holding things back, this is something I, I see. You... You're just disempowering yourself. You're just making it further worse. So if you're hiding, the more you hide, your business, your, your finances, uh, those emails, you know, the, you are, are, you're setting yourself up for failure, unfortunately. And oftentimes men... You know, here we guys are, we, we are attracted to beauty. We, 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 we're designed that way. And if we're not careful, there's too many guys, again, I talked with you about, um, men start to look outside of their marriage, right? They, they think, oh, well, she's not doing it for me anymore. And I'm telling you, you're trading one problem for another problem. And the way, if you think that that's going to be your answer, I'm telling you, I've seen it. I know other guys that have gone that way and they're, they're, they're in a worse situation here. And so I'm telling you these because I've seen the quote unquote solutions to some of these problems and they are absolute failures. And that's why I'm so passionate about this. A man who is clear and able to understand where he's at emotionally. And most men in my experience are not. 
Can you articulate more than four or five emotions? Like, can you go down and can you, in, in the moment, it's one, thing, it's one thing just to read them off a list. It's another thing, like, can you do a, a scan of yourself and actually determine where you're at? Because this is what I do with my working with our client, my clients, is helping them see where they're at, be clear about where they want to go. And oftentimes we don't have a clue where we want to go because we're just in so much dang pain, right? It's like, frick, get the, get the, get the nail out of my foot, get, get the, get the, the splinter out of my hand. It hurts so much. And when we're in physical pain like that, and I mean physical, the emotional is there and it literally causes it. You don't take care of yourself physically, right? You're not eating right. And I'm telling you, you're not going to be thinking right because I didn't think right. I mean, I do stupid stuff. I remember, <laughs> funny story, but I remember like, oh, well, if I turn off the internet, my wife can't you know, contact and talk to people. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> like, let me, let me turn off the internet at our house and, and try to block her that way. It was just, these are the stupid, idiotic things that we think of or come up with of trying to control or manipulate people when we're in pain because it's like we're hurting we want to stop the hurt as as quickly as we can we just start lashing out and doing these things and unfortunately it can become deadly you know um and we it, it, the, that's the reality i mean in our day and age it is is scary to see and i think women know that men in particular are capable of this and we can go to that place. Now, that place, what I call a dark warrior place, can be absolutely something positive and good that we can protect our wives, that we can be there. But if we're not there emotionally, connected, spiritually, we've been understanding that we're taking care of ourselves, we will, like I said, burn it to the ground. And so, as a man that I've gone through, I can't solve everything here in this podcast. This is, you know, my first four-way and foray into the marriage topic because to me, relationships are huge. And this is where we become intelligent in our human leadership, leading ourselves and how we communicate with others. Like I said in the introduction episode, we can use AI and other things. That's great. That's like a calculator that can do some cognitive things for us. Very cool and has a useful tool. But taking that from human to human is a whole nother dyna- dynamic. And so when I come to you this way and why I share this with you guys is because I've learned by training my mind, opening up my self, exposing myself, showing the world who I am and the challenge I had. Like I said to you earlier, I'm not new to this. I struggled with my marriage. And it wasn't just like we'll flip the light switch, you know, 10 years ago, everything was great. This has been a journey for both me and my wife. But I'm going to be telling you and sharing you through this journey, through this podcast, so that you know you're not alone. You can hear from somebody that's actually gone before you and experienced these things. And whether you or you know somebody that is going through this, I want to encourage you to listen, pass this along. Because number one, you need to know you're not alone because that's what's one big thing as a business owner. We feel isolated. We feel uh, like we're the only one that that get this. Um, And so I want to make sure that you hear that loud and clear, that this is a place for you um, and that you're not alone and that I'm going to be sharing and revealing much more along my life, but really how that, how I've applied this and how you can have success in your life in learning these tools and abilities. And so there's a lot that I'm going to be unpacking and sharing as we go through this um, and how you can get prepared to show up, be the hero in your own life, be the hero that your wife has always wanted you to be, be that man that she desires, that she can truly surrender to and open up to. Not some stupid other guy that's on the internet that's, you know, being a punk and just trying to fish and see who we can lure in. There's a lot of guys like that, unfortunately, because they're trying to get a quick fix and they look for women in vulnerable places. Guys, I don't want you to be leaving your wife vulnerable, leaving her in a place of wanting, hurting, disconnection. Because if you get her right on your side and you guys get this right together, I'm telling you, you are going to have an amazing experience affecting 
all aspects of your life, particularly your business. Particularly your business. So, this morning and just coming through and sharing with you on this idea of marriage and where are you at? You know, what's not working in your marriage? Because I don't want you to be divorced. I don't want you to be separated from your children. I don't want to be there to be, you know, stepfathers, stepmothers. It, it just, the complications, life's complicated enough, right? Yeah, we could navigate that if we had to, but wouldn't it be better if we could find a way to make it a, a relationship that is stronger than it ever has been emotionally, spiritually, physically, right? I mean, come on guys, right? We <laughs> we love to be with a woman and and to create that spark and that fire, right? And when you're left wanting in both of you, and you don't know how to get that back, that spark, and to build, and it's like, it's like there's a lot of energy to build a spark, to get the fire going. Once you get that fire going, and if you can keep it burning, and those coals stoke that fire, it's not that hard to get a roaring fire up and running again. You throw some fuel on that thing, and man, watch out, stand back. But if you let those coals get really cold, it's hard. It's hard. And it can be done. It can be done. And like I said, I've done it myself. And I've worked with others that have done that. I've worked with men that literally have been divorced, have gone that way, and actually have been in the process of restoration, able to win their wife's heart back. And literally, it's put them on a path of success in their all areas of their life. And I want that for you. I really do. And that's why I have the Intelligent Human Leadership Podcast is that I want to empower you. I want you to find that place and know that you're not alone. So, men, today's the day you get to decide, do I make a decision to just go back and just my humdrum, I'm deciding not to look at and really deal with my marriage because I can come up with 100, 100 excuses, 100 reasons why I could be doing other things. Well, I've got payroll this week. I got to go do take care of something else as a client. You know, there's, there's a lot of different things. Marketing, there's all these things calling for your attention. But I'm telling you, your wife is where you'll get the greatest return on your investment. So you get to make a decision today. You listen to this podcast and I'll be sharing more. And I invite you to come listen to the future podcast as we dig deeper into this and have these powerful conversations. Or you can say I'm done and I'd rather not. But I'm telling you, those that have and those that are willing to face the truth, the facts of their life, can create what I call an impossible game, an impossible journey to where you could look at a year from now and, and be unimaginable. It's just, I can't believe we're in this place. And... That's what I want for you. So again, if this makes sense to you, if this is, if it feels like in your heart, man, David's got something here. He really does. I want to encourage you, reach out to me, share the podcast, um, and come back. Come back because we're going to have some more powerful conversations here in the Intelligent Human Leadership Podcast with me. You're going to be able to know yourself better, to lead yourself, and ultimately lead your wife and those in your, in your sphere of influence. So... I want to thank you for listening. I welcome you coming back here for our next episode. Stay tuned. Have an amazing day. We'll talk to you soon.